Hey everybody, Butts here. Today I'll be showing you some easy and cheap ways to get your garden started this spring. Suggested wear, long sleeves, jeans, or other kinds of pants. For the love of God, please wear sunscreen, people. Closed toed shoes, and of course, gloves. Here are some materials you need to get started. First, find some cardboard. Then we need some leaves, some soil or compost, mulch, wood, a rake, a spade, scissors, buckets, and of course a plant. Before you start buying all these things, borrow things from friends, ask friends for plants, look around your neighborhood for bagged up leaves or fallen trees that have been sawed in half. This fallen tree a block away from me has provided so much for my garden. I use it in my compost, in my beds, I use it for firewood, and it's all been free. Once you have everything you need, we'll need to find a place in the yard to plant something. For me, I'll be using the alleyway behind my house, which is south facing and gets a lot of sun. Obviously, you can see there are a lot of weeds here. I'm not gonna be pulling them all up though. This is easier than you might think. So let's get started. So I wanna plant right here, and obviously there's a lot of overgrown weeds. I'm gonna do selective weeding, um, leave some of these things that have flowers because pollinators like them. So I'm gonna take the grass that I wanna get rid of for the weeds, and then I'm just gonna cut right at the base. And then when you're done with that, just toss it right back down. I do this for a few reasons. One, I don't have to use lawnmowers or weed eaters, which use fossil fuels and destroy the hidden ecosystems of these environments. Two, leaving the roots in the soil prevents soil erosion from wind and water and also keeps the subterranean organisms undisturbed. Three, throwing the nitrogen-rich material back down, followed by our next step of mulch, will eventually turn it back into soil. We're gonna take our leaves. Kind of spread them out. After you lay the leaves down, go ahead and lay your cardboard down. Make sure you remove any metal staples that might be in it or any adhesive or plastic. Next, let's do a little soil. We're gonna take the plant. This is the sunflower, everybody. Hello. And then we're gonna just plop it right down on top of the cardboard. Just gonna mulch heavily around it with all that found mulch from the fallen tree. Continue to add more mulch and leaves until the plant is nice and tucked in. Once you've gotten it situated, take some found wood and then place them around the base of the plant to give it more foundation. This also notifies people that there's a plant here and hopefully it won't get trampled. Most important step, don't forget to water it in. Now I'll take you to my front yard and show you how to make a bed there. If you want to apply that same method to a bigger spot, take those leaves you got from your neighbors who bagged them all up for you, put them down in the area that you want, then lay your cardboard down, find some weights, and then take wood that you have also found from neighbors or your own yard. And make a barrier and you have a bed. I'm using both of these methods around my yard. It doesn't look like much now, but hopefully by summer they'll be more full. I'm planting herbs, pollinators, native plants, hopefully things that will come back on their own so I have to do less work. A couple things to remember as you get your garden started. Avoid the use of pesticides, herbicides, lawnmowers, and weed eaters. Two. Don't get discouraged if things don't work out. It'll be A-OK -okay, and there's plenty more opportunities. Three, work and share with friends as much as possible. This means time, money, resources, energy, knowledge, all of it. Um, good bonding experience too. And four, most importantly, have fun.